all right guys so this is chat did so chat did is a bit different from chat gbt and uh, there is a lot of difference so with the chat did you can actually uh text a question and or even record an audio and this chat did will respond by actually responding in text and also reading it out for you so this is more convenient especially for those people who cannot actually see the blind uh, this might be more convenient to them as compared to chat gpt so um what i haven't yet tested you know like this is actually limited you notice that uh when you look at the interface uh you notice that i only have like 19 charts left out of 20 because they give you a limit of 20 charts for a free trial so you can try it out and see it and we also have like the chart dad for developers which i haven't really touched let me just see yeah so this is for developers uh literally whoa this is amazing i think i will actually make a video with uh i will make another video talking about the chat did for developers but for now let's just focus on the chat did which is almost the same with the chat gpt but the only difference is that with the chat gpt we do not have like the option for recording audio or even talking to your computer or maybe talking to chat gpt directly and it cannot actually read out what it is actually typed so that is the only difference between chat gpt and chat um did that is literally the only difference but the chat gpt has like a higher um advantage as compared to chat did because like if you wanted to use chat did you only get like 20 text but with chat gpt it is actually free and it's only up to you uh to upgrade to a, a plus version uh yeah so that is just up to someone else so that they can actually enjoy the freedom of not having to wait in line when they are the 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 system is jammed yeah so that is the only difference but with chat did over here you only get like 19 out of 20 chats left and yeah so uh what i want to do right now i want to start a new chat with chat GIT and I want to ask them how are you different from chat GPT that is our question and we're going to wait and see how it's going to respond so guys this is going to this is our string out like chat DD just trying to see the difference hi yeah I'm Alice a conversational AI developed by DID while ChatGPT is also an AI language model, there are a few key differences between us. Firstly, I have been specifically designed to be more conversational and engaging. I prioritize building a rapport with my users and aim to create a more human-like experience. Secondly, DID focuses on humanizing AI, which means that we prioritize ethics and user privacy in our development process. We believe that AI should be developed with the user's best interest in mind, and we strive to make sure that our AI is always respectful and beneficial to those who interact with it. Overall, while ChatGPT and I may have some similarities, I believe that my focus on creating engaging conversations and my team's dedication to ethical AI development set me apart. Wow, so guys, literally that is how ChatGPT literally works. So. I want to ask you through like in audio like um what are some of the best uh niche that i can um actually ask that like what are some of the best topics that really have like a lot of viewers or a lot of engagement that i can work on and huh, which question should i really ask okay mm. What's the name of the first president of United States? Yeah. Okay, I need to allow this. What is the name of the first president of United States and the first president of Kenya? Hmm. 
wow guys this is amazing trust me um when using like the google or even yeah you can see like well it's still recording now i have to <laughs> this is amazing so guys the I... first president of the united states was george washington and the first president of kenya was jomo kenyatta all right that is not how we say it in kenya but you've tried though it's jomo kenyatta ta 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 all right do you speak swahili do you speak do you speak swahili yes i can understand and communicate in swahili wow guys so this is amazing you know like in the past like i haven't really had this chance where like uh, like I tried talking to ChatGPT in Swahili, and we had like uh, some sort of difficulty to understand each other. Like it was literally trying to translate some of the Swahili words directly to English, and sort of uh, some of them were sort of losing sense. So uh, one thing I came to notice is that most of these are. Uh, AIs don't really invest in other local languages or even Swahili. They have invested in Spanish and these other top languages, but these other languages, the normal local languages, they don't really take time to invest in them. So uh, let's try and see if it can actually understand Swahili. So I want to ask it something in Swahili. Um, hey, are you still around? Yeah. Anything else on your mind? Ah, ningependa kujua jinsi ya kupika chapati. Kuna za nielekeza tafurahia. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what you're trying to say here. Can you please provide more context or ask a specific question? Can you speak in Swahili? Can we start conversing in Swahili, please? Can we start conversing in Swahili, please? Yes, I can speak Swahili. We can start conversing in Swahili. What do you want to talk about? Okay, guys. So you you notice that this kind of took me because uh, with ChatGPT, once you've asked it, uh, you've asked like a question like do you speak Swahili? It just comes right in, and you can speak Swahili. And this happens. You can see like ninja pineapple. Now, what I asked was, uh, can you ningependa uh, kujua jinsi ya kupika chapati? And you can see what it tried. To, it, it did. Uh, what it wrote, sorry, what it wrote was a ninja pineapple juice, juicy aqua Pikachu. Okay, so I want to start. Ningependa kujua jinsi ya kupika chapati. Kuneza nielekeza, neza furahia. It's not actually recording, so I'm just gonna have to try again. Ningependa kujua jinsi ya kupika chapati. This is not going to work. You like I'm trying to speak out in Kiswahili, but I'm finding uh, the words that are being typed are different. So how can we go about this? So this is what I've actually done. You see, I did say... I understand. It seems like there may be some confusion or miscommunication in our conversation. Is there a specific topic or question you would like to discuss in Swahili? I'm here to help and communicate with you in the best way possible. Okay, guys, so... Sorry, even digital humans get tired. This chat is limited to six responses. Please start a new chat. 
all right guys so this is actually the downside of charge uh, did which is actually a bit frustrating like i don't know why they will actually put it uh, to speak in swahili when it cannot actually capture the recorded swahili words so this is what i was actually saying like you notice that with uh with swahili words like i asked like if you if equal speak swahili and then you notice like when i record an audio speaking swahili uh the words that are being typed are actually different from what is actually uh what i actually said what i said in english was if it called guide me on how i could cook or even make chapati or even roti so some people call it roti but it's actually chapati in kenya so or yeah or even in swahili so that is the question that i really asked and what i got was ninja panda queen george yao pikachu party you know uh this is actually different from what i was actually asking so uh when it comes to chat did you notice that once you have actually asked like a few questions like six uh questions um the conversation will automatically be discontinued so what i wanted to talk about also was if this would actually replace uh would actually replace like human labor like let's say the customer care support or stuff like that so uh one thing about the customer service industry i think we as uh we as human beings who want to like get services we enjoy talking to human beings and not actually robots but the chances of this actually replacing us is a bit high if this can be actually automated or even created uh, in such a way that it can respond to every question that we can ask and respond efficiently then yeah most company might consider adopting it but the chances of this actually replacing customer care service in developed countries is a bit higher as compared to developing countries reason being that in developing countries not everybody speaks english and we have actually seen that most of these actually don't actually uh understand swahili and the system the most of this system the ai systems that are being generated you notice that they cannot actually respond in swahili uh perfectly so most people are having difficulty in speaking in english cannot actually adapt this uh let's say they wanted to take this to tanzania the chances of Tanzanians actually accepting this or uh, having this to replace them is going to take a while because they, they will have to actually adjust their uh, AI so that it can actually understand Swahili and actually speak Swahili flu uh, fluently, sorry, fluently so that uh, most people in Tanzania or the Swahili speaking nations can uh, get assisted. So yes, uh, the AIs can actually uh, change the world uh, take jobs like the customer service industries but the chances of it actually getting there maybe in the next uh, five to ten years that will be possible but only if they can adjust it to speak in different languages because it's not only in developing countries where we have people who don't actually speak uh, English at all. Uh, other countries, even in developed countries, we have people who don't speak English so they really need uh, uh, an AI out there that can actually assist in different languages. So you see, like for me, uh, when I was working in customer care, like you notice that when somebody calls you, um, maybe they call and they choose that they want to speak in English. But when you start conversing in English, they automatically switch to Swahili because maybe there is something they want to explain, but they cannot really get the exact word in English, so they switch to Swahili. So once they switch to Swahili, as a customer care service, you'll have to be first, like you, you, you literally have to switch to Swahili so that you can have a continuing conversation. Something that the DID, the chat DID cannot not actually do. And uh, right now, let me just try out, like uh, ask if it can speak in a native language, let's say like law. You know, when I, I ask chat GBT, let me just do the same with chat GBT. Can you speak in Swahili? 
and you can see like uh, this is this is perfect literally compared to chat DAD because chat DAD was actually responding to uh, responding in in uh, in English you know yeah because I asked in English so you, you can see this one uh, chat GPT is like ndio naweza kuzungumza Kiswahili je kuna kitu malum ambacho ungependa nizungumuze juu yake uh, so what I'm going to ask is ningependa the same question because now with chat GPT I cannot record I have to type it so I'm just going to do the same in chat DAD and see the response of both uh, uh, chat DAD and chat GPT. So ninge penda kujua jinsi ya kupika cha party. Okay, chat GBT, yeah, this is amazing. I, I feel like they took note of some of the things that people are talking about when it came to Swahili, and this is perfect. This is actually perfect. So what I'm going to do, this is actually typing. So yeah, so this is. Uh, okay, so this is actually there. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to type. But now with chat DID, you can see like this. I can ask this question and I can go my way. Yeah. And wait. That is with chat, DA, uh, chat GPT. But here I'm going to ask this question and send. Let's see how it's going to respond. We want to see how it's actually going to respond. Asante kwa swali lako. Kupika chapati and I rahisi sana. Hapa kuna recipe rahika chapati. Viango. Two and a half cups ango wangano. Half a teaspoon chumpi. One tablespoon mafuta ya kupikia. Maji ya yuba gugu. Jinsi ya kupika. One. Shanganya unga na chumpi kataka bakuli kubwa. Two on Jisa Mafuta ya kupiki iwi comma breadcrumbs. Three on Jisa Maji Kadogo Kadogo na Ukangani Hadi Ujen Jungam Gumu. Yubo wa kukandia na kukanda kwa dak. Alright, so chad di ID. Chad ID. Chad ID. So chad di ID still have like a lot to work on. Basically, like if they're going to invest on the conversation part of uh like investing in different languages then they will have to update it because uh what it is actually read like in english uh this is not swahili it, it has tried yes uh -huh. everything was being pronounced differently if you gave this to a swahili person uh the swahili person wouldn't really understand anything from what it, it has just uh voiced so let's say if i was blind and actually speaking in swahili the chances of me literally understanding what Chad DAD was actually speaking or even saying Swahili is going to be difficult. So uh, they have to uh, to develop it in such a way that you can speak fluent Swahili just as it can in Spanish, yeah, so or even in English, yeah, speak in Spanish, speak in Spanish. guys literally even in spanish like uh, there is still like a lot of effort that needs to be done with chat jd to get it because like it basically sounds like a robot basically we get it that it's a robot but making it sound um more like a robot is a bit frustrating like if i wanted to invest this care support team then most of my clients have be pushing most of my clients away because human beings want to interact with humans unless like the chat gb chat they, they can literally invest in such a way that this uh, to get here is going to sound more of a human then yeah then people will actually invest in it so uh this is a great improvement basically but then uh 
based on the voicing hey, and everything um, that is Anything actually perfect but then when it comes to these other things then it becomes a bit nah nah so uh, I want to ask it can it do can you make make a script for a binary bot so I have also to be quick because if I'm I'm not it will actually um, it will actually uh, do it it will end the conversation so that is one thing so it is actually automated in such a way like sure if Here's you a script for a simple binary bot in deriv javascript forward slash forward slash set the parameters for your bot Bar stake equals one, forward slash, forward slash, the amount you want to bet. Bar payout equals two, forward slash, forward slash, the payout you are aiming for. Bar contract underscore type equals call, forward slash, forward slash, the contract type you want to use, call or put. Bar duration equals five, forward slash, forward slash, the duration of the contract in ticks, one tick equals one second. Forward slash, forward slash, define your trading strategy function trading underscore strategy forward slash forward slash get the current tick value bar tick underscore value okay so basically guys uh uh i was also hoping that chat did will have this option that will limit like a conversation like give people like this option if you want to listen to an audio then you get to click on that tab but if you want to read you get to read it without actually having it talk so one thing i noticed about i noticed about the chat did is that it has been developed in such a way that the the chat uh, the live chats uh, whenever you go to any website let's say like jumia you know she's like there is a live chat whenever you go to uh Kilimall, there is a live chat uh, button so when you start conversing you'll notice that this is actually almost the same so you get like a, a customer care service sort of but not really that that yeah so so this is chat did it can actually answer a lot of questions um uh, let me ask like how i want to try something because this is not actually possible so i'm going to try and share a link of a youtube video um any link and then ask it if it is currently and uh, yeah so i'm just gonna copy this once i copy that up here and i will click can you watch this video so now the the downside of it you'll notice that at times I, I might be typing and then it will actually ask me if i'm still there you know something that i don't really so i'm just going to take like a longer time actually typing this so that you can see that Then I'm going to pause. Okay, it has taken time, so I just want to try and ask this question. You can see what happened. It automatically uh, stopped the conversation, and you notice that when you ask the same question to chat GPT, uh, you will get like this prompt that I am an AI language. I'm not developed to do this kind of stuff. 
you can see like so i'm sorry but an, as an ai language model i am not capable of watching videos performing actions and other stuff like that yeah so uh this is how like if they are working on something that can actually replace like a customer support uh then they should work on something like this so i'm just going to ask this question again and see the response Okay, so right now we got like another like but I cannot watch videos or like them as I am an AI language model. Alright, so you can see like it has actually responded. I wasn't expecting this because it had actually ended a conversation. So I'm going to ask Okay, show me. Okay, sure. Show me. Okay, another downside, as you can see, like if I was conversing with ChatGPT, uh, and you talk like you can see, however, I can tell you that it is important uh to only like and promote content that you genu genuinely enjoy and find value so i said okay show me okay how can now i want to ask another question how can i grow my channel So guys, I have actually muted uh, the audio because uh, these are some of the things that are just there, so basic. So yeah, I didn't want it uh, talking because every time it talks, I have to shut up and then that kind of takes a lot of time from me. So, um, okay, so these, uh, I want to tell it uh, to write I'll have to actually start another conversation because this is limited to six. Let me see if I, if it can actually. So this is just the same question that I would have even asked in chat GPT. So yeah, we've got like uh, a story. Certainly, here's a short uh, story for you. The sun was setting, of the male field growing, and it's actually reading. So make it two thousand words. Words and very descriptive very descriptive and also give the background background called cast or yeah something of the sort I'm not sure I'm just going to write this So this is not 2,000 words, literally. 
it has actually done the same thing and nothing. So this is the downside, like it's like the words are limited, so it cannot go beyond a specific. And you cannot actually send a text unless it completes uh, like talking. So that is the reason why I was actually suggesting maybe they would have given out this option where like uh, it can actually read and if like I wanted to listen to it in form of an audio, it will just speak out. Uh, but if I don't feel like it will just be silent. So that is what I was hoping for, but it's not possible. So you see, this is the downside. You know, with ChatGPT, you ask it to write for you like 2000 words of stuff like this, and it will just try and write it. And over and over and over and over. So ChatGPT is actually. So every time I'll have to play, continue, 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 continue in order to get like what I really want. So uh, let me just try that in ChatGPT, right? Two thousand. Words. Oh, a very and you can see like it's literally writing so this is chat ubt guys here the other one's chat did and i had requested it to write like a story what like or uh, uh 2000 words and yeah so this one is supposed to write like 4,000 words. Yeah, so one page it's always 250 words to 500 words. And guys, you can see like this is quite a long story. You can see. I can't uh, be certain about the number of words. I don't know how to count uh, these, but yeah, so this is a bit longer as compared to what we had in chat G uh, GPT and you can see like it kind of takes you out and ends the conversation so yeah and you can see like sorry even the digital humans get tired this chat is limited to six response please start a new one so uh this is all about the chat did and yeah so i hope that this video helped i compared the chat uh, did to chat gpt and so far so on like i noticed like still chat gpt has like an upper hand as compared to chat did uh, the only difference is that with chat did there is the conversation part of it and the chat gpt doesn't really have that so yeah so guys uh that's it for today i hope that this video uh, helped uh up until next time guys